Hey guys, Pedro here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you all about Urn and their latest album, Iron Will of Power, out September 20th of the Season of Mist. This album has 9 tracks and it's 40 minutes in length and this is the band's fifth full length album. For those of you that don't know, this is a black metal band from the city of Tampere in Finland. Now, I have a really hard time labeling them as a black metal band because to me, looking at this record specifically, you can feel like there's a lot more at play. To me, the overall key ingredient of this album is the overall structure that it has and then the individual song structure that every single song puts forward. It's really hard for me to describe how this album sounds as it impacts that structure. It's really hard to define because to me, this, this album has two layers. Uh, at the top layer, there's this black metal feel. It's almost like, like a blackened cloth that just really covers every single song and then it covers the whole album. Once you peel that blanket over, and what you have is songs that have other influences, whether it be speed metal, thrash metal, heavy metal, there's other melodic death metal, there's other influences into the individual song structure of each single song. What this allows to, for the album to sound like is it sounds like, at first glance, a black metal record. The moment you start looking at each single song and you start breaking down the songs, you start to realize those nuances, you start to realize those structures changing. So what you have here is an album that's very fluid on a track by track basis, while keeping this blackened, blackened cloth over it allows the whole album to feel concise and very linear. So at first glance, it looks like a straightforward black metal album. When you look deeper, it's a lot more than that. It has layers and layers and layers to it. So that dynamic to me is one of the key ingredients of this record. It's so interesting that you can have a song that has a thrash metal uh, structure to it, that has a thrash metal sounding solo, for example, and still make it feel like a black metal track. That's what they achieved on every single song on this record. And like I said, that gives the album two very distinct dynamics. It gives it the first glance overall dynamic of being a black metal album, and then at second glance, it gives it more of a blackened feel to the record. I really like that dynamic, and to me, that is it. that was the key ingredient that captivated me, that brought me into this album. Overall, the record is filled with aggression and relentlessness. I think that are two, besides the structure, those are two key ingredients of this album. From the first to the last song, you always feel like the album is picking up on intensity. It just has that unapologetic, penetrating sound at times that I really enjoy in metal music, specifically in black metal, and you get that in bunches uh, on this record. The darkness of the vocals and how raw the vocals are match to perfection the darkness that you're going to get on every single track on this album. Even the ones that are a little bit more melodic still have so much darkness to it. So I really like the fact that the vocals fit just like a hand in a glove, absolutely perfect into the overall sound that this record has to offer. As far as guitars or riffs are concerned, I touched a little bit, bit a little bit on that. I really like the fact that they have this uh, this black metal guitar, traditional black metal guitar riffing sound all the way through. Once again, that's what gives it that blackened cloth to the whole record. But then when you start to break some of the songs down, you start to see that the solos perhaps have a little bit more of a thrash metal feel to it or old school heavy metal feel to it. And then you also pick up some melodies here and there. They're very common in melodic death metal coming from that part of the world, from Finland. So I almost f feel like this is a band that's really pulling from their roots, pu pulling from their surrounding, incorporating some of those very melancholic melodies that you get in, in Finnish melodic death metal or even Finnish melodic doom metal. And they're incorporating that into some of their tracks, not every track, but into some of their tracks. It adds a different kind of melody to the song. It plays really well with that blackened uh, cloth that they have all, all over this record. So I really feel that adds a little bit of melancholy. That adds to the darkness that the song and then the overall record has. I really love how these guys created this record and how they put these songs together. Really creative, really smart, and, and, and really intrinsic. It's not something that it, it's visible at first glance. You really have to be paying close attention to the record. The only negative I have about this album is the fact that it only has nine songs. I honestly felt like it went by so quickly. The 40 minutes just flew by. Uh, this album could easily have another two or three tracks. It's just, it's such a great piece of work that you just feel like 
you're not satisfied after those 40 minutes and you have to listen to the album again so you wish it was a little bit longer that's the only negative that i have because i really enjoyed it i wanted a few more tracks all right guys as far as songs are concerned i started i want to start off with downfall of idols the first track uh, on this record beautiful acoustic guitar intro perhaps one of the more melodic parts it it, it really gives you a sense this song kind of it's the perfect opening track for a record because it gives you a sense of the melody that you're going to get at times very sporadic but the melody that you're going to get at times throughout this record and then the aggression that comes right after the relentlessness that comes right after really defines the overall sound of this record <clears throat> it really defines the the feel the 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 way this album comes at you just absolutely aggression aggression and aggression so to me this song and how it starts off the record and how it starts off itself it's really a combination of these two worlds that you're going to get on this record uh, this is a song that doesn't change that much from the verses to the chorus uh, the two just kind of blend in with each other they kind of flow very easily from one another it's not one of those songs that creates this yin and yang between those two portions of the song it it, uh, it has a more blended feel to it uh, it, it just has that feel all the way through. Once you get through that initial intro and you get into the aggression, that's the vibe that you get all the way through. Now, having said that, the chorus is ca catchy, really hooky, and I feel the simplicity of the chorus lyrically is what adds to that catchiness. That's one of the main ingredients that makes the song very memorable. Not even the solos, by the way, on this track really slow down uh, the overall song. Even the solos on this track have aggression built in into them. They have this feel of an onslaught uh, that comes comes is coming at you every single time the solo gets played on this track. The overall structure had a very old school. If I look at this song, this is a song that has a very old school feel to it, almost a Slayer feel to it. If Slayer was to do a black metal song, perhaps it would sound just like this one. I really love Downfall of Idols. It's just an epic entry track into a record that just immediately captivates your attention. Next, Funeral Oath, great tempo. This is a song that has a really nice tempo to it, but it also has a lot of melody, especially surrounding the chorus and the pre-chorus. To me, that melody that surrounds those two those two parts of the song are, are fundamental in making this song work. It gives a more melodic black metal feel to the track. It still allows the song to feel like it's dark, to have darkness to it. Even the solo comes in, when the solo comes in in this song, feels almost like a lightning bolt of, of melody that just comes in and then it leaves. It has a very old school vibe to it, as most of the solos have on this record. But I really like the structure of this song. It feels like it has a simple pattern. Uh, and overall, it does have a simple pattern. But it, the way they included certain melodies within the pre-chorus and the chorus, how they blended the pre-chorus and the chorus together, how they flow so easily from the verses into them and then from out of them into the verses, all of these things is what makes this song really memorable. I really like the melodies. I like the overall darkness that it has. And like I said, I really like the, the way the, the solo it comes at you. It just has this old feel, old style, old school atmosphere to it. Overall, this is a really great song that pulls a little bit to, from their environment, that melodic, doom melodic death metal environment includes a little bit of those very fainted melodies around that pre-chorus and chorus to me really sets the overall song apart. Last but not least, Spears of Light, powerful verses with great aggression. Best way to describe this song. It just feels like it has a lot of strength to it. Um, it has a little bit more melody, uh, vocally especially in the chorus. Uh, the chorus allows uh, these backing vocals to come in almost feeling like a choir, like a chant. And, and that it in itself gives a little bit of a folk element to the song. It doesn't make the song feel folky at all but it gives it a little bit of a full fragrance specifically in that chorus because of the vibe that it has because of the chant because of the overall quiet almost feeling of a choir i really like that it just really feels like a song that pulls from a lot of different genres and blends them all together and this is the final product but the way they all come together to me is is only possible because of that blackened cloth that i mentioned earlier about the overall feel of the record it's also true in this song this is a song that has, it's like a Frankenstein. It has pieces of different genres, of different elements, but then that blackened cloth is what levels, levels the playing field and makes this song feel very uniform, very together, and gives it that overall black metal vibe to the track. Absolutely love Spears of Light, one of the best songs on the album. 
All right, guys, this is it for me. This is Earn Iron Will of Power out September 20th. Let me know your thought on this finish band. Use the comment section below. I'll be reading those as always and getting back to you. See you guys.